What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I told you in the live feed that we're going to be doing another moon video. But no, not our moon. We're going to be talking about Neptune's largest moon, Triton. Now, don't mistake that with Titan, which is Saturn's largest moon. Now, Triton was actually discovered in 1846 and orbits Neptune every 5.8 days. Just a couple little informational tidbits there for you there, right? All right. Let's get into this, because I think you're going to find this really interesting. When I first looked at this photo, I was like, okay, why is this very large, square-looking object laying on this moon? And then once you enhance this thing, wow, crazy, crazy stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the photo where you can get it. And, of course, you guys always get the links. And then we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you the areas I found of great interest. And then we're going to jump into the fully enhanced photo. Let's just get right into it, shall we? This is a really cool photo of both Neptune and its largest moon, again, Triton. And these flybys were taken in the year 1989 by the Voyager 2. All right, let me just show you the page. And you can see at the top of the page is Lumen Astronomy. And you can see Titan and Triton. Again, they're doing like these kind of comparison or similarities to both Titan and Triton, right? Now, what you want to do is go down to the half the page, a little past that, right around three quarters almost. And you can see figure four, Neptune's moon Triton. We want to look at the one, figure five, Triton's geysers is the actual title of this. And it says this close-up view shows some of the geysers on Neptune's moon Triton with the longest trains of dust pointing to the lower right in this picture. Credit goes to NASA JPL. Okay, of course, you guys can read all of this. It's pretty cool information. Uh, and then, of course, these videos have got to do with Titan, not Triton, but uh, really, really interesting regardless, right? All right. So again, we're going to be looking at this photo here. And I did rotate it about 22 degrees clockwise because I wanted the horizon or the terminator to be pretty much level and horizontal with our vision there, right? All right, let's just jump right into Photoshop and have a closer look. All right, here it is again. And you can see when I go to rotate, you can see up at the very top, it says 22 degrees. Let me show you again the things that got me thinking right off the bat. I always look for shapes and faded lines and so on and so forth. And this is right off the bat, this right here. as well as this other pot right next to it. We have this area here. Again, notice the faint lines. We have these really funky looking craters like this one here. Look at the shape and outline of these things, right? Another one here. Now, right off the bat, to me, these do not look natural. Look at this. Now, is it possible for a crater to be not completely round? Of course. But there's three of them in the row, folks. Look at that. That's just crazy to me. Something really funky right here. Not sure what to make of that. We have just to the left of that, we have this kind of weird pattern on the ground. And you'll see that much better. Let's jump way over here. A couple odd looking shapes right here to the right. And then just to the left of that, we have what looks like these weird rectangular items. Now, I'm not so sure if it goes like this. You can see one. There's two. And maybe three and four. Not really sure because what I'm seeing here also is here. You see the very fainted line. And it looks like something may be coming out of here a little bit, and that's pretty much it. At least that's the way it looks from here, right? Have you noticed even on our moon, the areas they don't want you to see or that are in question, they are completely overexposed or completely whited out for a reason. What you'll also see back here, look at the lines in here. And you're going to see other weird looking objects in here as well. Now, I want you to take note of this because they have this weird way of taking out, and you're going to see this really good in a moment. But right here, check this out. Going straight down, you can see all of these line patterns. Now, it, it may be something that's in the camera. To me, it's to take out actual shapes of items. And if it's an overlay and it's digitized, whatever it may be, it's to take out anything they don't want you to see. Right? Something right here. Almost to the right, right there. All right, without further ado, let's get rid of these lines and circles. I want to show you this area right off the bat, which I thought was really interesting. Okay, let's have a closer look at this now, shall we? Check this out. I found this really interesting because just a simple shape. 
But what I also found interesting was this something right here. You can see these weird lines and something super faint right here doing this. And also take note of what looks like a circle type thing right there and a black detail. It's a hole or whatever it may be. See that? Now let's go to the original. Are those details there? Well, you can see it right here, right there. And also this round circle or detail. I can see this running like this here. And you can see this weird line type thing doing this. I could not see this other one right here as it's so bright. Just notice that right there. Bring it down. You can get rid of that brightness. This area here, and I'm just going to put the yellow line where it's actually more whiter and brighter, is that area right there. So it's in between. We have this item to the right of it right here. And it looks like it actually slopes down. Almost looks like it has a dock opening here. Now to me, folks, to be honest with you, this right off the bat, in my opinion, this item right here looked like either some craft that's been on this moon for quite some time, or they are structures next to each other. Here, I told you there was this weird shape type thing in the ground. Not sure what to make of that. Or it's just a wide open area with smaller structures in it. This, put it right in the middle of the screen. We have what looks like a tower. I'm gonna go into this further. Notice this object here. It looks like it has like this base to it type thing like this. Docker area underneath. And what looks like something coming right up out of that hole. And it looks like it has a round top to it or an opening like it's something you would see like in a chimney stack type thing, right? See that? Right there. Okay. We also have this area here. Looks like something there. Then we have an outline of it here. Something circular, something right there. You can see that right there. All these little things next to the stack right here. Not sure what to make of that. We have this right here. Not sure what to make of that. Look at the patterns of that. These pieces sticking out like this. What are the chances of that? This one actually looks like it does this and it comes out. It actually looks like it's separated. Gets all in the whited area here. And then again, we're back to these weird pieces. Notice how these are pretty much spread apart, like the same distance. Okay. Looks like there's something within this crater. You can see that right there. Really kind of odd shape, but it's there nonetheless. Again, we have these weird looking craters doing this. You can see a nice corner right here. Look at the way this is shaped, folks. Is this official or is it natural? Okay. Back up a little bit. Something down here in the lower left. Not sure what to make of that. Here on the right, got this super bright area. All right. Let's do it nice and dark so we can bring down these brighted areas, shall we? Okay. Zoom back in. Now, these are going to look a little different because those weren't the first things I concentrated on when I went to the darker parts of the photo. This is the reason why it's not brought up that much. But if you notice, you can still see the white here. Just dip in like that and go like this. You can still see this other round piece very faintly right there. So that's why that's the way it is. Notice this piece here next to the lower area right there. Here's that tower I was pointing at earlier. And what looks like other structures here. These really odd shaped craters here, here, here. It's just there's so many of these craters, including this one here, that have these weird walls to them. If they're going to be crater walls, look at the shapes of them. What is the chance of all being shaped like that? I don't know. Something here, it's like half 
dark gray and half white. See that? Here. On the right hand side, you got this cigar shaped looking thing. These here, which I showed you earlier, right in the middle of the screen, you can see where it looks like it has these rectangular features. I'm not sure what the chances of that happen in nature, but okay. You can see that? Looks like it's going out like this. You can see something right here, probably a shadow right here, but there's something right here. It looks like a small whiter piece here. Not sure what to make of that either. Just above that and to the left, check this out. What is that? Notice how it's mostly white right here. And then you have all that is gray over it. Folks, this is manipulation at its finest. This completely whited out, and I try to bring it down. See that? In the background, folks. This is what I was talking about before. See, before, when you looked here, you're looking more down at it from the top, but maybe slightly on the side of the object, right? When you go over here, closer to the Terminator, you start seeing the sides of items as opposed to more the top. Check these out. You can see something going up like this, going up like this. These lines are going across, coming down. There's one faint right here, but check out the pieces all around this area. Check these out. All these little pieces in here and everything in between See that? This here. This white piece coming out, going like this. I'm doing a freehand here, so forgive me, folks, for not doing this completely straight. And like I said, folks, I mean, what is the chance of these things being shaped the way that they are? Right? Okay. And again, all of these areas here where it looks like either tower sticking out. You see something right inside here, like I said earlier. It almost looks like it's got like a tripod kind of thing. It looks like it's doing this. There's a circle under here, okay? And it looks like it does this. And look inside, there's another round piece inside it. See that? Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that, folks. But you can see when I made it darker, it kind of covered that up as well. But my idea was to darken this. So what I did is I started again in the photo and just tried to bring all of this down. Okay. Now, if we were to look at these roadways, and I call them roadways, are they canals or are they roadways? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I did it two times to filter this out. I want you to take a look at these objects right here on the side of these whiter pieces. And what I mean by is this right here. Are they canals? Are they transportation tubes? Are they roads? I don't know. But what I find funny is these objects that are right alongside of it. Check that out. Let me show you the original right there. And notice these, the outlines I just did here on the side of these. Now I'm going to show you two versions of it. Here's the first one. And then the other one. And then the original. They're there, folks. The lines are there. Let me move in a hair bit closer. What you'll also notice is something down here as well. It's very faint right there, but watch this. You can see something that has this like white piece inside, like recessed into the ground. Okay. Back here. Bring it out as much as we can. Again, here's the original. Look at these pieces here on the side of this whatever these are supposed to be. See? Doesn't seem to be as noticeable on this side until you start really enhancing this thing. But regardless, let's say this weren't even here. These alone, folks, look at this. What are the chances of those shapes coming out of there? Yeah. Still there, no matter how you look at it. Okay. Here's the whole photo. Again here, and then here. Use your magnifiers, folks. Check it out in depth. This one here, stop it here. 
and then stop it here and have a look at, like I said, the ones here on the left-hand side. And there you go. Folks, I said it before and I'll say it again. Every moon and probably planet has been lived on by another civilization at some point in time. We're seeing proof of it. Here it is. If those are natural, kind of like Mars, this moon, Triton, has a weird way of showing its natural environment. Pretty weird, right? I find it a little odd because when you see these craters the way they look, these what look like structures, are they spacecraft or are they structures? Is there a spacecraft next to the structure? I don't know. Pure speculation. But in my opinion, none of what I showed you is actually natural. As always, folks, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got some more crazy ones coming up, so stay tuned for that more moon, that Antarctica photo, and many more. So again, stay tuned. And again, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, folks.